Our story begins in 600 BCE in the ancient Persian Empire, the equivalent of modern-day Iran. Back then, people didn't believe in one, two, or three gods, but in an eclectic pantheon of gods. Until one day, a man named Zarathura or Zarathustra went bathing in the river and contacted Ahura Mazda, the only supreme and real god. And so, around six century BCE. Zoroaster wrote down all his visions and epiphanies as the Gathas and Avesta scriptures. This religion Zoroaster introduced was hence named Zoroastrianism. In 648 BCE, the Achaemenid Persian Empire adopted Zoroastrianism as their state religion. One of their emperors, Darius I, even said. By the grace of Ahura Mazda, I am king. Ahura Mazda gave me the kingdom. It was during this time that Zoroastrianism really flourished, giving rise to religious groups such as the Magi, who audited the birth of Christianity. In 330 BCE, after 300 years of glory, Alexander the Great defeated Darius the Third and conquered Persia. The growth of Zoroastrianism was put on a halt. And society digressed back into random religions. It wasn't until 500 years later, in 208 CE, when Ardashir, son of a Zoroaster priest, reconquers Persia and establishes the Sasanian dynasty. Under his rule, Zoroastrianism once again became the religious lingua franca. But in 651 AD, Persia gets conquered again, this time by Muslims. The Sassanid dynasty went down, and so did Zoroastrianism with it. Remaining Zoroastrians who were deemed as kufar or infidels by the Muslims suffered persecution in their homeland. So by 900 AD, almost all of them have fled to India and became the Parsi's people. But ever since the Muslim conquest, their population of followers have been seriously debilitated. During the 18th century, Zoroastrianism began to slowly revive as it spread to the West with the help of the media. Various Atash Bhiram's or fire temples began to be re-established, and in 1960, the world's first Zoroastrian congress took place in Tehran, marking the 2,500th anniversary of the Achaemenid dynasty. In 1991, Freddie Mercury. Lead singer of the band Queen died of AIDS and conducted a Zoroastrian funeral. Because of his publicity, Zoroastrianism began to receive more attention in recent years. Currently, there are about 200,000 practicing Zoroastrians living mainly in Iran and India. <laughs> 